Hi. Uh, today's topic is about uh, the terms which are related to the uh, bank sector, which are important for examination point of view. Uh, let's start with the basic uh, to understand better. Uh, imagine uh, there are so many banks in the market like uh, SBI, Canara, there are so many banks. What they, what they will do? They lend means they give loan to the people. While giving the loan, they, pay, uh, they charge interest and get benefit out of, uh, benefit from lending the loans. Okay, they, pay, they, they charge the interest from the people and get a profit out of it. So, to give loan, where the banks get money to give loans, where the, where the banks get uh, money to lend the loan, one is to deposit. Who deposit? Again, the people deposit. People deposit money with the bank. So by using this deposit, it pays to the it uh, lend it lend loan to the people. Is it sufficient? People's deposit is su is sufficient to people uh, to give a loan to the people? No, it is not sufficient because the people's at any point of time they uh, draw the money from the bank. The situation uh, going to be a worse. Okay, if the bank has shortage of fund. So banks are in need of money. Means extra are in need of extra money. So banks are going to banks are going to RBI, Reserve Bank of India, to get a loan from it. To get a loan from it. So RBI also charges interest rate. Interest rate on the loan because it's giving loan to the bank. So it charges interest rate. What are those interest rate are these? Bank rate, repo rate, margin standing for facility. They are different uh, time period. With respect to the time, they are different. Just they are different by with respect to the time. We will understand. Now, what is bank rate then? If the bank, here yeah, the bank go to the RPI. If the bank, this bank need of money, need money, for long term, need of need money for long term, for example, one year, two year, three year, thirty year, like this. If need of money, need of money for long term basis, the RBI lends to this bank with a bank rate. With a bank term, RBI provides the loan under bank rate. Okay. If bank, if bank, needs money needs money for short term like for seven days 14 days 30 days like this it needs money for uh, it needs money the rbi lends under repo rate under repo rate okay what is the difference between repo rate and bank rate the one is time difference because it is long term it is short term and one and one more thing while getting the loan bank while getting the loan from rbi under this repo rate the bank need to pledge collateral what is collateral imagine a person person he go to the bank and he want to get a loan from this bank for getting the loan he has to pledge land record or house home vehicles these are collateral means they are collateral nothing but security to the loan here same happen bank need to pledge collateral what collateral bank have government securities i i am already explained what are government securities in the class of open market operation if you are interested you can go and watch it okay it pledge government securities with the rbi and they get a loan get a loan under repo rate here in bank rate there is no need of there is no need of collateral pledge there is no need of collateral pledge okay the difference between repo and um, reverse repo it is long term it is short term it is no collateral is needed here collateral is needed this is one main difference 
okay then another another one red comes one is another one is marginal standing facility what is this same the bank need in money for one day for one day bank needs money go to the rbi it goes to the rbi and i get a loan from it for one day here for in days uh, seven days uh, 30 days like that here the in terms of years here also the bank need to pledge collateral this is what happens then other two terms i have already showed earlier that is that they are reverse repo rate reverse repo rate and standing deposit facility standing deposit facility okay let's imagine situation the bank bank with the surplus of money means huge amount of money with it, with it. The, uh, it is maybe because of uh, deposit is very very high the people are depositing money money very high and uh, also there are less people are getting the loans means the bank with huge amount of money so the uh, so the bank are now deciding to uh, park this amount with rbi means deposit the banks are interested now to deposit to deposit money with the rbi okay because the people are not getting the uh, not uh, getting the loan from this bank so bank uh, bank need to earn something interest so has to pay back also has to pay while during the um, while during the depositors claiming their deposit okay so uh, the our bank go to the rbi and um, park their uh, surplus bond uh, surplus fund with the rbi here rear reverse is happening their bank is getting loan bank is getting loan from the rbi but here bank giving loan to the rbi okay that is why so while while bank depositing depositing uh, its fund with the rbi it gets interest rate okay what are those reverse repo rate and the other standing deposit facility that like four percent, three percent, like that. What, whatever the RBI may fix. Okay, for reverse repo rate, and the difference between these two is reverse repo rate for many days, like fourteen, like in case of repo rate, seven days, like that. Here also, if the bank deposit its fund for seven days, thirty days, like that, for in terms in in the number of days, it get a interest in the rate of reverse repo rate. But if the bank deposit its fund for one day like in marginal standing facility for one day it gets a interest of interest like standing deposit facility okay uh, these rates are fixed by rbi uh, periodically it varies according to the um, economic conditions okay now the last thing here i want to say is why this rate why this rate needed for banks okay rates why there is a need you uh, to know this you should understand what is money supply money supply money supply i am already explained in the open market in the same video open market operation if you are interested you can go and watch it okay if the money supply in the economy is very high money supply economy is very high means in the market is very high rbi needs to absorb those money RBI needs to absorb those uh, that much amount of money from the economy. It increases reverse repo rate, starting deposit facility. It increases like this to absorb the liquidity, to absorb the money from the market. Uh, uh, market it increases these two. Why? Be why because the bank getting more interest here instead of giving loan to the people bank come and park their park their deposit with the rbi so the people are not people are not getting the loan the money supply is reduced in the economy in the same way if the money supply is more it increases bank rate 
marginal uh, standing facility and uh, what repo rate why the bank why, when the bank getting loan from the rbi bank getting loan from the rbi it ch- if the rbi charges more interest then bank further charges more interest on people if the rbi charges more interest then bank necessarily charges more interest on the people so people are not going to get loan because interest is very very high that's the case if it decreases rbi decreases these interest rate these interest rate then loan become cheaper in the market people are going to get a loans at a cheaper level so the money supply increases like this way the rbi maintains the money supply in the market increases or decreases interest rate according to the situation of the market so as to control the inflation this is what bank rate and other rates concern to the banking sector